What's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? You good? I hope you're good. I'm good. Got this fun planter here. Let's go ahead and throw something together for Halloween. Here's what I'm working with. I have this donkey tail here. The variety is called Burrito. And I think this is gonna look cool coming out of his mouth like a foam. I want it to kind of look like he's a jack-o'-lantern monster that's chumping on some plants. And I also have this golden sedum here. This is sedum adolfi. That's what the tag says. And these are in nice little plugs. So I'll be able to tuck this in around things and uh, hopefully bring out some contrast. And I have these other echeverias here. The variety on these is the Painted Lady. But I'm not sure if there's going to be room for them. And I kind of want to keep this simple. This is a very temporary planter. Everything that's going in here, I'm going to be pulling back out in less than three weeks. Now, I'm just using miracle Grow Cactus Palm and Citrus Mix. I did go ahead and add 50% coarse sand to it because I have found that even though this says cactus on it, it does not drain uh, as well as they claim it does. Actually, okay, maybe it drains kind of fast. It holds on to water a little bit more than cactus soil should, depending on the type of cactus. But for succulents, particularly something like this that doesn't have a drainage hole in it, I want to make sure that it's not something that's going to retain too much moisture. And here is that mix. Very, very sandy. I'm just going to go ahead and dump that in his mouth. I'll go ahead and take this stuff, this donkey's tail, maybe not the most ideal thing to use just because it's really pretty fragile like you just kind of touch it and leaves pop off so i'm going to be careful here i do expect for some things to come off I want this to be in there in a way that i can still see that tooth so it's either going to go up here in this corner or right there let's start right here for now just because i think that'll be the easiest spot to work this into there we go that works I still wanted that works really well. I'm gonna stuff this guy in down low. Just like that. And I'm gonna pack more dirt in around him. That Shavaria in up here. These little sedums work pretty well because they don't have a ton of root on them, so I can kind of stick them in. Just like you would for like an ornamental pick. Like that. Right in there. And there we have it, all done. I picked up this container for relatively cheap. It was like five or six dollars, I believe, from like a home goods type of store. I think maybe it's a candy dish. I'm not entirely certain. Look at that cute little monster eating all those succulents, especially the side profile. Now, if you wanna see what this looks like during the daytime, you can follow my twig on Saturday. You'll be able to see it a little bit better there. As far as care is concerned for this guy, a little bit different because there's no holes in the bottom of this pot. I'm gonna to wanna to keep this in a bright window, not in direct sun, although they're succulents, so they would be okay with that since this is in an enclosed ceramic container. I'm worried things might get kinda of toasty in there. So just a really bright, nice window. Again, this is only for a few weeks, so I'm not really too worried about where I put it, but if it were to be something more permanent, then that would be extra important. To water, I'm just going to use a spray bottle. You could use a syringe. A syringe would work really well. Kind of like using a water bottle because I can just do a straight up stream and spray it in there. And be a little bit messy the first time around. Really probably all times around. It'd be best to maybe set this in the sink and hold it upright and then spray around the base of the succulents. Just a light watering maybe once a week. It, you know these are things that all kind of depend on your growing conditions. But that's probably what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and do a spray around the whole thing, probably once a week. It's really not too hard to just go ahead and get in there and spray around the rosettes. And like I said, a syringe would work really, really, really well too. Probably better than this. Again, because these are succulents, I want them to be fairly dry, so if you get water inside these rosettes, you can take a paper towel and just dab it in there to get the moisture out. That'll usually do the trick just fine. The nice thing about this was that since I want it to look like it's like a monster eating a bunch of plants. I didn't really have to worry about the aesthetic of it, especially since it's only for a few weeks. Like I kind of wanted it to be random and not sloppy, but sort of crazy and chaotic. Yeah, I'd say that's the case, especially that Echeveria up there. It really doesn't fit, but 
I think that that's kind of what makes it a little bit perfect. And this is only for a few weeks. And I'll be pulling all these guys back out and doing something different with them. All right, that's going to do it for today. Hope everybody's doing well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what's going on in your garden. I love talking to y'all. You can also follow me on Snapchat, Trop Plant Party, one word. I try and upload multiple times a week. And as always, keep on growing, everybody. Bye bye